Hi, I'm Christopher Holton. I'm a vice president here at the Center for Security Policy. I'm the executive director of the Divest Terror Initiative and also the Sharia Risk Due Diligence Project. These two projects are related in that the Divest Terror Initiative seeks to cut off corporate life support from the West for terrorist sponsoring nations, Iran in particular. The Sharia Risk Due Diligence Project seeks to prevent the infiltration of Sharia law into the United States through financial means as a, as a means of a Trojan horse that would insinuate uh, the medieval barbaric doctrine of Sharia into our way of life as has already happened to a great extent in Britain. The Divest Terror Initiative was founded in 2004. Uh, a vision of our president and CEO and founder Frank Gaffney as a means to empower Americans to participate in the war on terror because of the billions of dollars of taxpayer supported pension funds that were invested in foreign companies that did business in terrorist sponsoring nations especially Iran the world's foremost sponsor of jihadist terrorism and also Sudan another jihadist nation that sponsors terrorism. The initiative sought to prevent Iran from benefiting from U.S. taxpayer dollars indirectly. U.S. companies were forbidden by law from doing business directly in Iran, could only do business through foreign cutouts. So we sought through state level initiatives to cut off that loophole by giving foreign companies a choice. Either you can do business with the Ayatollahs or you can have access to U.S. capital markets, but you can't do both. We've been successful in several states over the past few years. The first state that went tariff-free was Missouri when the, the treasurer of the state of Missouri, Sarah Steelman, ordered that the Missouri Investment Trust go tariff-free. That became the first tariff-free uh, pension system in the United States. It banned investments in Iran, Syria, Sudan, North Korea, and Libya. All of those countries at that time were on the terrorist sponsoring list. Since then, Libya and North Korea have come off the list. We could debate whether or not that was proper for those countries to come off the list. Nevertheless, they have come off the State Department's list, so they are no longer involved. They're no longer included in the Divest Terror Initiative as targets. Following up uh, in Missouri, uh, we had action in Florida where the Senator Ted Deutsch authored a bill to divest that state's pension systems from foreign companies doing business in Iran. California, where Assemblyman Joel Anderson uh, authored a bill that was signed by Governor Schwarzenegger to divest that state's pension systems from companies doing business in Iran. Louisiana, in Louisiana, we passed a bill that established a tariff-free index. In that state, the state's pension systems only invested in foreign companies through international indexes. Well, through uh, a change in the law, those pension systems were required to invest only through a tariff-free index, which was subsequently co created as a result of that legislation. That really started a, uh, uh, a domino effect, those uh, states, and since then, Georgia, Maryland, Michigan, Illinois, New Jersey, and Utah have passed similar legislation. Uh, we're currently working hard in Indiana. Uh, the date of this uh, uh, video is March 26th, uh, 2009. In the first week in April, we're going to have hearings in the Indiana Senate to divest that state's pension systems from both Iran and Syria. Indiana already divested from Sudan two years ago. Uh, recently in Pennsylvania that, that state's tobacco settlement fund, which is an 11 billion dollar fund, made the decision to divest from companies that do business in Iran. The legislature will hear uh, a bill in May that would divest that state's pension systems from companies that do business in Iran to mirror the action that the Tobacco Settlement Fund has already taken there. 
By doing this, we hope to raise the awareness of the Iranian threat on the state level, as well as to cut off corporate life support for the Ayatollahs uh, and make foreign companies make a decision between doing business in the United States and having access to our capital markets or partnering with terrorists in Iran, Syria, and Sudan. We greatly appreciate any help we can get on the state and local level on either one of these initiatives. Uh, if you would like to get more information on helping your state to cut off corporate life support for the terrorists, uh, please contact uh, the center uh, and ask for me and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, we can uh, uh, work on legislation in many other states uh, to promote tariff-free investing and to quit subsidizing those who are killing our troops in Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, and uh, I also uh, can provide information on the insinuation of Sharia into our society and work that we're doing to prepare for legislation on the state level to combat Sharia as well. I can be reached at Holton at Center for Security Policy dot org. That's my email address. Holton at Center for Security Policy dot org.